Hey, what's up everyone? Today, I went with my family to my favorite restaurant. You guys already know it, it's Steak and Shake. I love Steak and Shake. I've done a video in the past where I talk about how every time I go to Steak and Shake, I get something, the same exact thing. Chili three-way, Frisco melt, cherry Diet Coke. I get it every, every time. Um, I've been to Steak and Shake over 50 times. I've gotten that every single time. Today, I decided to break the mold. I went to Steak and Shake. We went, um, actually, because my kids requested it. It's the end of their school year, and they were like, we want to go to Steak and Shake. I was like, yes, of course, we're going to go to Steak and Shake. We go to Steak and Shake, and I decided to get a different burger. I normally get the Frisco Melt, and I love the Frisco Melt because I love the double patties, I love the uh, Frisco Melt sauce, and I love the sourdough bread. But today, I got something different, and I got this. It was the Jalapeno Crunch Steak Burger. What is it got going on? A double steak burger seasoned on our fiery hot grill with pepper jack cheese, chipotle mayo, fresh salsa, jalapenos, all topped with French's French fried onions. Okay, $4.99 for this. Here's how it looks. As you can see, it doesn't look like it does on the menu, of course, right? You know, product photography, we know that. But I gotta tell you, I was really disappointed with this. And it's not disappointed because I'm used to getting something else. It's disappointing because it has so much potential. This thing could be crunchy, which it wasn't. It could be spicy, which it barely was. And most importantly, it could be put together well. The steak burger itself, of course, amazing. Steak, steak and shake steak burgers are great. The uh, individual components together would have been a great, great taste. But there are a lot of things wrong with this particular steak burger. A, the bun. Uh, even though it was uh, grilled, um, fell apart. Not good, it, 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 it was too soft and it broke apart. Not good. You, you need a bun that is not super tough, but you need one that's at least gonna hold some structure when you put it in your hands and you put it in your mouth, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing, not enough jalapenos, not enough um, uh, French fried onions, which is like the, the, the keystone of this particular burger. And the salsa, although it may have been fresh, was very, very small. And the mayo was good. So the, the, the mayo was good. So they, they were over-indexing on the sauce, not enough on the actual um, components of the burger. So I was really disappointed. Jalapeno Crunch Steak Burger from Steak and Shake. I, I loved the idea. I hated the execution. It is, after all, Steak and Shake, so you can't really expect, I mean, they're, they're just flipping burgers super, super fast. Um, you can't expect quality every time, but given all of that, I only give it a two and a half out of five star rating. Now, here's the problem. Jalapeno Crunch could be so, so good. It just was not executed well, and, you know, I deviated one time, and look where it got me. Not cool, not cool at all. That being said, though, $4.99 for a burger of this uh, magnitude, magnitude in concept, with fries for $4.99, that, that's way better than when you're spending $5 at a, at a McDonald's or a Burger King or a Wendy's for a burger and fries. So it's still better than any of those. But that being said, in the standard of Steak and Shake, two and a half out of five star rating. Question of the day. Do you like spicy things on your burger? And if so, what do you like? Leave that in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you tomorrow.